In this video, an overview of Abbey Timeline's options and functions, as well as where to find them, will be presented. Note that this will be a quick overview, as we will demonstrate these multiple Abbey Timeline tools and options in more detail in this and other Abbey University courses. We devote separate chapters to all the Abbey Timeline tools with accompanying explanations and hands-on activities for a better and more thorough learning experience. As soon as you've ingested data via any of the supported upload mechanisms, this page presenting both the Process View module and Dashboard will be presented. We will start our overview from the bottom left corner where Account and Project Settings and some other options are placed. You can find these settings in the bottom left corner under this icon. When you click on this icon, you will see the user's login name, the name of the project that is currently open, and your role in this project. Also, here you can find user profile and account tabs. Also, a sign out icon is placed here. Now, let's examine what else can be accomplished here. Under the question icon, you can see general information about the program, as well as view manuals, release notes, and the Abbey Timeline Accessibility Statement. You can also report any issues you may encounter. And via the bell icon, you can see processing status information if available. Let's move up. In the upper left corner, you see the following icons. By clicking on the first icon, you open the main page of the program, which is, as we already know, the process view. By clicking on the project button, you can create a new project or open an existing one. A list of existing projects will immediately be presented by clicking the Open button. By clicking on the data, the repository will be open where different operations on the uploaded file can be executed. Let's move to the right. As you can see, the name of the project is depicted here. Next to the project name, you see the Context Settings button. Let's click on it. As you see, the project details can be seen here. You can open the same Project Details pop-up window by clicking on the name of the project. What else? Under this icon, you also can upload data, rebuild a project, convert project columns, see scheduled tasks, and scheduled data exports, as well as create new scheduled exports. In the Project Configuration menu, with just one click, you can get project info, upload data, rebuild projects, etc. Also, all the useful project configurations relating to setting alerts and calendars, as well as menu items to set up aggregations, charts, costs, etc. are placed here. Note that we can also delete events here. Don't be concerned if all these features are not familiar to you. Let it all be a teaser for you. Just imagine how much interesting information awaits you in this and other timeline courses. In Abbey Timeline, you can not only analyze data, but also configure dashboards. You can open dashboard under the Analysis button. All the process analysis tools are available under this button. By clicking on the process view, the whole set of analysis tools is opened. See how many of them there are here? Plan on spending some quality time learning how to better use all these tools as you try them out on your own and with the help of our hands-on tasks. We think you'll enjoy that learning process. What else? Do you see this tiny exclamation mark near the name of the tool? By clicking on it, you can open the specific Abbey help page about the tool. Contextual help can be a great time saver. Moving to the right, we see sets and filtering panels. The current panel shows us the currently applied filters. If we hover over it, we will see general filtering information. And if we click on it, we will see the filter pop-up window where we have some useful filter options to work with. By clicking on the name of the set, the list of sets is immediately depicted. At the upper right-hand corner, we have numeric metrics related to uploaded data. You can display all the metrics in one view, 
pin this open metrics bar or leave it shown in a minimized way. Also, some filtering tools are available here. So you can look for something by number, text, etc. Also, you can apply a query to filter your data. And dimensions, to filter the data considering specifically selected events and attributes. And tags, if you have defined some. And it's very convenient that you have access to all the filtering tools from whatever module you happen to be in. We've just presented to you an overview of Abbey Timeline's tools and functions. And we hope that your e-learning experience while studying all the powerful Abbey Timeline capabilities will be smooth, captivating, and engaging.